Okay, significant figures. Um, first thing we need to do is identify which figures are significant. And first thing is all non zero numbers. Non zero numbers are always significant. Okay, so if you had a number like, uh, I don't know, 42.75, obviously you have uh, four significant figures. Right. So, w what about the zeros? Well, sometimes zeros are significant, sometimes they're not. So, number two will be any zero between two non zero numbers. So, um, if you have a number like, uh, Thirty two thousand fourteen point three. There are one, two, three, four, five non zero, so that's five significant figures, but there's actually a total of six significant figures. Since that zero is now significant because it's in between two non zero numbers. Okay. The third rule states that for numbers that are significant, it's any zero to the right of some non zero numbers. With a decimal present. This means that the decimal could pretty much be anywhere. So let's say if we had something like uh, 42.75. That means there's five significant figures. Since these zeros are to the right of non-zero numbers and a decimal is present. It also means that 0 0.1 Four zero zero would give us four significant figures. Since uh, w we have two non zeros and two zeros to the right, this, this zero to the left is not significant because it's to the left. All right. It also means that if we have a number like zero point zero zero two seven one zero zero we have one two three four five significant figures why aren't these zeros significant here and here well they're to the right of the decimal but they're also to the left of these non-zero numbers okay so these zeros aren't significant right any group of zeros to the left of non-zero numbers are not significant as long as the decimal is present. One way to think about that is if you have, uh, let's say, an, an arrow. And you're making a point at the end with a, uh, with a pocket knife and you're shaving, shaving, shaving down the point. These measurements here are going to be significant, right? The, the more tiny the measurement. These on the other side don't really matter. Well, it's the same thing with a number. The larger portion, if you're talking about significant figures, if they're all zeros, they don't really matter, but it's when you want to fine tune that measurement. That's when those zeros are really going to become important or significant. Now, here comes a couple of tricky situations because if we had a number like, let's say, uh, 
1300. Now, since there's no decimal there, we don't know if these zeros are significant or not. And this is a common mistake a lot of people make. So this could be two significant figures, meaning the one of the three since they're not zeros. Or three or four, we don't know how many significant figures there are here. Because one or more of these zeros could be significant. Perhaps this number was rounded, we don't really know. However, as soon as we put a decimal there, it implies that some type of definitive calculation was conducted and now we have four significant figures. So this decimal makes really all the difference. Okay. So those are pretty much uh, all the rules for significant figures. And um, just to kind of reinforce that point, if we had something like this, this would be one, two, three, four, the decimals are there. So these significant figures do count as significant figures, obviously. And then we have another two. So now we have six total significant figures. Since these are to the right of the non-zero numbers. Okay. So again, these two guys are going to be the tricky ones. Those are the ones you got to keep in mind. If the decimal's present, then those zeros are significant. If they're not, then we're not sure if they're significant. But other than that, it's just the three rules. Now let's talk about uh, multiplying, dividing significant figures. I'll just abbreviate uh, MD. And if we have uh, 4.07 times 3.2 well we can multiply these out but we cannot write the number that the calculator spits out the rule states that when multiplying dividing significant figures we need to take the lower number of significant figures of the two in other words if this guy's three significant figures and this guy's only two significant figures then our answer has to have two significant figures so let's do it we have 4.07 times 3.2. That's going to equal 13.024. And uh, we got to chop these guys off here. Our answer is going to be 13. Okay. And uh, if this number were uh, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, hypothetically, we would have to round up to 14. Uh, that's an important point. So that's multiplying. Division is the same thing. Uh, now let's try adding, subtracting. Adding, subtracting states that if we have something like, let's say, uh, 98.7000 plus 2.513, when we add them, our answer can only go up to the uh, lower decimal place of the two. In other words, if this uh, number here goes from the the ones place, actually no, we start from the tens, tens place, ones place, tenths place, hundredths place, thousands place, ten thousands place, and this number goes once to, to the ones place, to the tens place to the hundreds place to the thousands place, that means that our answer can only go up to the thousands place. That's gonna, that means that we can say with authority uh, in our answer that we are um, going to the thousands place. So let's, let's set them up. Let's say we get 98.7000 plus 2.513, and that's going to equal 101.213. Yeah, and this last number, since that's a zero, uh, we don't include that in there, obviously. Uh, so our final answer will have the six significant figures. However, if this was, let's say, a eight, how would that change our answer? Let's let's give it a try. Now we have 98.7008 plus 2.513. 
Well, now our answer is going to be 1 of 1.2138, 1, correct? However, what does the rule state? When we're adding these two, we can only go up to the tens, hundreds, thousands place. So we got to cross this last guy out. But the problem is this last, this last number was an 8. So we got to round up. So now it's 1 of 1.214. That's our final answer. So it, it's, it's always important when you calculate to look at the next number that the uh, calculator spits out to see if your final significant figure is rounded up or down. All right. So that's, uh, that's it. Boom.